Selecting the correct hoop in the software is incredibly important. The machine can't tell what hoop I'm going to be putting on it. Um, so if I tell it in the software that it has a larger hoop than it actually has, I might strike the hoop and I don't want to do that. Um, conversely, if I tell it it has a smaller hoop than I actually have, I'm not going to get the benefit of the full soap field. So always make sure that the hoop that you have is the hoop that you're selecting in the software. So to select it in the software, I'm going to go down and into my hoops. And in here I have categories over on the right and different sizes over on the left. You can see what's selected because it is larger. Uh, so right now the 15 centimeter hoop is selected. Uh, I'm going to be using the 12 centimeter round for this. And I'm going to confirm out of it. And now you can see that the design looks to have gotten bigger. That's not really the case. It is just sewing in a smaller hoop and we maximize um, how much we show on screen. So everything just appears a little bit bigger. Um, so you can see that we are using the 12 centimeter hoop. That's roughly 4.68 inches. Um, if you were to choose something else, uh, you could go into your hoops. Again, we've got uh, categories over on the right. So if I wasn't using a round one, I was using a rectangular one. We've got lots of options for that. If you scroll down, there's clamps. Uh, there's things for the wide angle driver. There's magnetic. You've got lots of options in here. The Melco Fast Clamp Pro is on the very bottom. Uh, so you can go through and kind of narrow down what you're looking for. But again, I am using the 12 centimeter. And I'm going to confirm out of there. Uh, now, why am I using that 12 centimeter? If you look, um, I selected a hoop that is just inside this dotted hoop limit. That's very, very important. If I were to select a hoop that was too small, and say cross over that hoop limit, that would be very, very bad. Um, here you would actually see, hey, it's going to hit the hoop. Um, not only that, the status bar on the bottom lights up. It says hoop limit is detected. Uh, also, if you check out the hoop limit here underneath, um, you'll see that it is solid and red. So what you're looking for is one that fits as closely as possible, that still stays dotted and this still stays uh, just the, the silver idle ready state. Um, if it goes to red, that means it's detected. Um, now, if your hoop, and I'm going to move this on the machine using the hoop and arrow keys, if it's something like this where your hoop just isn't centered, um, you could go into the move and center your hoop just to make sure that it really will fit. So things to keep in mind as you're doing it. Um, also, as you're selecting hoops, just make sure it's a hoop that you actually own. Uh, selecting a hoop you don't own doesn't do you much good.